Okay, hello everyone. Um, here in this video, I'm going to explain how to uh, use this kind of turn this kind of plot over here from shop that is force plot towards something like this one that only holds the main components. Um, I'm focusing here because um, there is plenty of information about other kind of plots, but no one is touching this. Um, in an explainable manner. So, uh, just a brief introduction. Shop, this guy over here, provides explanations to black box models like uh, machine learning black box models like Keras, Scikit-Learn. In my case, I'm using a deep learning model with Keras. Um, to give you a little bit of context, um, here I, I have some metrics about my model. Here I'm installing shop. Um, here I am importing it. Here I am starting it, initiating it. Not so relevant for this video. Here, um, what I'm doing is I'm loading my model. My model is this CM. It's my Keras model. And here is my training data. Now, uh, this is this is not important, this is just loading some metadata uh, related to my uh, data set. This is important. Um, this line is also very, um, uh, up, it appears very many, many times on other tutorials that you just are, are loading the sharp values. You are calculating them. And here you're checking this over here. Um, this is a kind of, um, it's a check that should be done, but for because it, I'm using Keras, Keras is not supported, and uh, I have some issues with it, so I'm just skipping this. Um, so here is an explanation of what they are, what you're getting with this uh, function. Um, here is the main problem of this video. Uh, in this function, you don't have any uh, variable alternative to limit the most important features that you want to see. So you have like 300 features, you are going to see a mess. Um, let's get over here. Okay, so shaft values uh, is a list in my case, uh, and, and it has two components. Uh, this is because my deep learning model has two columns. The first column is for the zero class, I am using a classification task, and the second is for a positive class, so it's a one. So therefore, uh, you're going to get your sharp values, uh, as many items on this list that are uh, present on your model. Now, every component here, every item of the list, have uh, about 200 rows and about 350 columns. So we have rows, samples, and about 300 features. Um, here I'm just plotting the, the shaft values and according to their magnitude, and not very important for here. Uh, here's a little bit of my data set. I'm using metabolites. These are names of metabolites. Over here, I'm calculating the importance of the each feature manually. So not the shaft values, just the importance of that, what you got. Um, so I'm making an addition uh, by feature, so I'm going to uh, make an addition in this way. So I'm going to have this, this variable over here is going to have as many items or a size length uh, equivalent to the number of features. And later I'm just going to filter, show the top 10 of them. That's what I'm doing over here. Uh, these are the top 10 already, it's, it's not the total number, amount of features, names that I have. Over here is a pretty common plot, uh, the summary plot, where this has actually is uh, more to the other side, over here, I'm going to show it here. Um, you have, where is it, where is it, so, Max display, so it you tell the, the plot to show only the top six features. 
um, this is not possible in the first plot. So just to check, double check if we are what we are doing is a right calculation. You can see over here that these two guys are the same. These two are the same. These two are the same. So and it just keeps going um, with other the other. So we are making the right calculation to extract these values. Why is this important? Because as I explained before, uh, with this force plot, you get I have a, more than 300 variables. So you can see like this is way too messy, and I would like to keep uh, I, but let's say the top 10, but I just cannot do it because the function uh, is not allowing me to do it. So over here, I'm just extracting nothing uh, phenomenal, nothing fancy. Uh, extracting like uh, according to the shaft values um, I'm taking the top three like the those that have most negative value and those that have the most positive value and then just uh, filtering the corresponding values and names uh, so this will be like the normal plot and over here uh, I extracted the indexes for the most negative columns and the most positive columns. Um, and later I'm just filtering the names of my columns and then I'm using again the sharp force plot. Uh, and here it, this is just to uh, see all the uh, arguments that I'm using in the function. And you can see that uh, now it's showing you only the top six variables. Um, I, I was not able to find this kind of information on the web. Um, what it tells you about these colors means that uh, these variables over here, uh, remember, uh, okay, here is something very important. Here I'm taking this component. Is the component, the second component that corresponds to the second column. My, the second column in my model corresponds to the class one, so a positive sample. So it's going to be classified as something positive. So it has, let's say, a disease. Um, so the variables that appear here in lower means that these variables um, are more important uh, to decrease the risk of having this disease for the model and the variables in red that says higher increase the probability of being classified as positive so that's it um, I made this tutorial because I couldn't find this information explicitly online so bye bye